Hey everybody, and welcome back to my adventures in Minecraft 1.19.3. I'm leaving off exactly where I was in the last episode. Well, I mean like, I ended the recording and I immediately am starting uh, this episode. Because I want to get some walls done. This may be a shorter episode, I'll go ahead and, you know, say that now. Uh, but this episode is going to be dedicated to hopefully getting this done really quick. And, uh, yeah, just <laughs> getting this burden off my shoulder. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, I spent a whole episode really just throwing ideas at a, a dartboard, essentially. So, how did I end up with that many planks? That is, um, interesting. I didn't think I made that many. Anywho, um, we're going to clear our inventory and get straight into getting these walls done and yeah um, I'm a man on a mission today so before before I get carried away which you know I was going to go start chopping wood we're going to go ahead and finish the stone brick uh, work I guess you you could call it we're going to go ahead and lay this down all the way around and, uh, yeah, hopefully that means we just got to gather some wood real quick and the rest of our glass and we'll be done in no time. And you know what? If uh, it's really short, I might, I might just finally finish that foundation. So you guys don't have to hear it uh, in every episode, but yeah. Sorry if uh, the last episode did feel, you know, like, so sporadic, but it seriously was just me actually showing that I have no plans for this thing, and I, I have no solutions, and even when the numbers don't add, you know, even when I have a solution, the numbers don't add up, um, the corners, so, uh, yeah, this is all just about doing this in real time, and... You know, until I find out if we should do more time lapses in the series or whatever. But for now, oh sweet, we have just enough to finish. That's awesome. Anyways, um, let's just forget everything I was talking about and focus on the project at hand. So, uh, the, the only other thing I have no idea what to do with is the roof, which, you know, I'm, I really, I really don't know. That is, uh, definitely one of those to be determined kind of things. But let's, uh, go ahead and gather some, st actually, screw it, we, we don't want to grab it from here yet, but we'll just keep... Digging around in our little cave thing and get some stone. And this time I'm not going to forget to ask the comment question at the end of the video. So, uh, for today's comment question, we're going to step away from the Minecraft questions just because um, I said I was going to to ask more of a variety so uh comment down below and tell me uh what is your favorite console i was gonna say what was your favorite generation of console but uh some people may not know uh the generations and stuff so i want to open this up there but just uh let me know what your favorite console is doesn't mean you have the most memory was with it but uh what's your favorite could be modern, could be old. You know, for me, uh, my favorite console will always be the Super Nintendo. The the games on there are awesome, and a lot of my favorite games of all time are on the Super Nintendo. So that's a pretty easy answer for me. Just a mix of nostalgia, and I think the titles on there are just awesome. Sorry, Sega Genesis, even though my favorite uh, Sonic game is on there, um, you're definitely not uh, winning this debate. 
but yeah, uh, let me know down below, and I, I love to see your answers. I read all my comments and try my best to respond. Besides, occasionally people just will comment like jibber jabber. <laughs> That's not necessarily easy to respond to, so if you respond something uh, that I'm able to make out, then yeah, I'll probably respond. All right, so we got our stone smelting. It is officially wood time. And I like to have this all, like this outside of the house pretty much done before we run out of iron. And as you can see, we're only gonna have enough room for one more ax. So we need to uh, switch over to high gear before I have to go back to my house and grab more. And I mean like my actual house. This this isn't really my house yet, is it? It's the skeleton of what could be my house. You ever just look at a big tree and you're like, yeah, I don't feel like cutting that down right now. Yeah, that's me. Oh Lord. I still have uh, some Ninja Turtle stuff to film tonight, which is, I'm actually looking forward to it, but I, I might need to take a little nap before I, I do that because you may be able to tell if I'm, I'm so like, oh, I've, I've cracked this, the problem. I know how to build the walls. So like, I just, that's all I want to do right now is build, but I'm, starting to feel tired so it's kind of I guess holding me back from being um, super energetic so I do apologize for that I'm not irritated I'm not upset mad or sad I'm just uh, a madman who uh, is apparently now dedicated to uh, making sure his vision is complete I mean, that's basically what's going on, so. After it's all said and done, I'll feel so much better. Then, you know, I, I'm finally allowed to panic about something new. In this case, uh, I get to worry about the roof. So, <laughs> in the next episode, you'll hear. Alright guys, I have no idea what I'm doing with this roof, but uh, I'm sure we can figure it out. I think, uh, actually a stack of wood's probably not near enough. There we go. One, one little step at a time. That has been like, oops, I accidentally uh, peeled that one. What is that stripped it? That's what it's called. Wait, it all spins the same. What am I talking about? Mm-hmm. 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 All right. You know, I can't wait to, to get this all settled in and we can finally start, like, exploring the world. Like, I probably will want to, like, build up the base around it, a.k.a. farm, uh, ranching, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, when, once I feel comfortable or... I'm just ready to go out into the world. It will be really fun to finally see what this world is uh, full of. You know, uh, I get to finally spend some time in the nether. Or go back underground and get some cool resources. And Yeah, I just can't wait to set up the house and know that it's complete for now until it needs an upgrade of some kind. And then go out and see what this world's made of okay that probably wasn't the best um... oh my gosh I need to mow my yard how could I what are the neighbors gonna think you know they're probably gonna think something along the lines of huh pretend I didn't do that Anywho, um, yeah, let's uh, try to throw up some of these walls and uh, 
make some some uh, pains. I'm actually not gonna go like overboard with the glass. We'll save some. Oh shoot, I couldn't have made any more anyway. So. Do 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 do. Just uh, a man on a mission. That's all. One man. One wooden house. With the world against him. Uh, one, two, three. There we go. Could save materials by getting rid of the blocks that are behind the pillars, but you know what? Uh, I didn't ask. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, guys. I'm I'm losing it. This old man misses his like five o'clock nap, and he he's down and out. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've created my own monster. Uh. Oop. Go ahead and start uh, placing some things down. Of course, I still I'll have to make the ceiling for the downstairs portion. I can't call it my basement. We'll just call it like the downstairs. I'll probably end up calling it whatever comes to my mind first, anyways, though. Um, but I'll have to make the ceiling look good because I bet it is just. Oh yeah, it's a it's a nightmare. This space down here, I just, I really hope that that's going to be the coolest part of the house. And then, uh, bam. Uh-huh. Oops. Uh-huh. And then, uh, over here. One, two, three, four, five, right, bam. And then all we got to do is, uh, well, I guess it makes sense to do it from this side. Because like I said, these aren't going to link up because there's no middle. I'm just going to have them like, these are big things holding the the frame up like on their own. I don't know if that makes much sense, but um, the concept uh, works for it in my mind. So I just got to build the last one over there. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. I might extend these out one by one more so they don't look so short like this log on top, but I kind of like just leaving the corners uh, as they are because I could like I don't know put some mob heads over there or something just something fun to display oh we've got plenty of planks to mess around with so go ahead and uh, get this set up you know I said this wasn't going to be an oak floor but uh look at me I might change it later, but for now it's uh, staying as it is. Three, four, five. And there we go. Now it's just back to this. I guess I'll install the windows last because I have not kept track of uh, <laughs> where they go. <laughs> I probably will save myself a little materials just by lighting these up. If you're going to leave these columns empty, since uh, they're not going to be seen anyways, always make sure you put a torch in there or uh, you will have a zombie or something spawn. And dealing with that is just never fun. Hearing them in the walls, okay, which section of the wall they in? And then you're digging around to string our house. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Just uh, be proactive. Even if you leave a one block space, like I think I left one like over there. Uh, yeah, a baby zombie could still spawn and those are arguably even more annoying. So, smarter, not harder. All right, so far I think we're making decent enough progress. I was kind of in need of a, a little bit of a shorter episode for a change since, uh, yeah, I, uh, why did I skip these? Did I mistake these for where, uh, logs went? Yeah, I did. Yeah, these parts will absolutely be, oh, no, they won't. I, I haven't put the freaking, uh, 
this up yet. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and throw some more of this down and try to... Ooh, there we go, finish that up. Nice and tidy. Okay. I, I really can't complain with this. I'm really happy to see <laughs> this house come along. I'm sure everybody else is too. They're probably like, gosh, put up some walls already. And like I said, this house would probably come together a little bit faster if I waited till I got enchanted stuff, but you know, I'd rather put up the enchanting table and whatnot when I have a house to put it in rather than slap it down somewhere haphazardly and not really uh, care, so. Yeah, I'm just uh, doing things my way. It is funny though, like, I think today is when the episode where I it's either the one where I cleared the spot off for this area, or, um, which I think is my most boring episode so far. But, it was, it's either that or I, I uploaded, no, it had to have been the, the land clearing thing. But whenever the, you guys are seeing me framing it, like, the house is pretty much gonna be done when that finally goes live. But, uh, yeah, I'm really liking the way this looks right now. It's not as windowy as I'd like. Like, yeah, I can make these 3x3 three three windows, but for now, we're going to stick with what we've got because it's very simple, very easy to work with. And uh, before I forget, we'll go ahead and uh, start preparing an area to place the, uh, the logs down. There we go. Oh. Man, I'm I'm feeling so much better about this. I can't shut up about it now. I went from, oh, I don't want to talk about it, to, oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, it's not the best Minecraft structure I think anybody's ever seen, but from what we started with and what we have now, and, you know, compared to my previous Minecraft series, then I think we can all agree that this is certainly an upgrade. Is it a step in the right direction? Uh, that's uh, to be determined, but for now, I'm totally comfortable, <laughs> you know, with an understanding, even though there's no roof, you know, when, when we have a roof, that's when we celebrate, because uh, like I said, I think the downstairs portion, which honestly, I might get rid of the ladder and actually add a proper staircase, I don't know, it doesn't really matter though, uh, when, when there's a roof on it, cool. But I think the downstairs area, even though I have a couple ideas already in mind, that's the one part I know what I want, ideally. Um, there's still a couple iterations, like, um, things I want to try. So, before I settle on one, I'm going to definitely try out some options, unless something just looks really sharp right off the bat. But I have several concepts in mind for wall layouts, because... Um, it's not just going to be a big open space down there. It's going to be sectioned off. And because of the frame that I've built, I can honestly play around with it pretty much any way that I want. And I can have the walls wherever I please. And I think that's kind of the genius, if you want to say, behind this house. Is um, I can, I well, I should, you know, I haven't done it yet. But we should have all the the ability in the world to put walls this way or this way or only this way or this way because it's all on a grid and that's why i really again obsessed over making sure everything was accounted for when i was uh doing the time lapses and yada 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 you know i was two three four five doing that it was counting to myself and i mean yeah you didn't miss much but uh i think all that is hopefully going to pay off in the end i 
I will uh, put those pillars down uh, probably last. Shoot, I didn't grab m m much wood at all, did I? Uh, oh well. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> this is uh, what it feels like to have um, gotten over a, a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure we'll run into some, a couple other like really dumb problems with the house. But, um, I don't think they'll be as bad as the problems I've already had with it. Alright, we've got some saplings to lay down, like, everywhere. Get out of here, you bum. Did you not hear me the first time? Get out of here. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Doesn't look really the best from here, but, you know. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? Whatever. I, it, it's, uh... Well, for now, it's out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> I think it, the roof will either make or break it. I think I'm just gonna honestly build up and make it almost so you can see how this you know big first room is just a smaller version of this so why not just cut it stack them and make it kind of look like a sandcastle looking thing and it just comes to a head i don't know um it would cool be cool to do that and then have a beacon shooting out of it but um yeah, I, right now, I, I don't even want to think about uh, ceilings and roofs and blah, blah, blah. We're going to pretend like uh, we didn't have that conversation. It really does kind of look like a, a, a wooden sand castle. Oh, I need to figure out a name for it. I want to name this house. You know, I don't name my houses. Um, but I want to name this one. What are we going to call it? Like, yeah, when I'm coming back to my house, I'll say, oh, yeah, I'm coming back to my home. Or um, I'm coming back to the base. But, you know, I kind of want to, like, at the very end of this, dedicate it. You know, put a sign down and be like, bam, this is the blah, blah, blah. You know? And no, we're not calling it the Wooden Sandcastle. Get over it. It sounded like something just splashed or something just became a drowned. I heard that sound. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Also, that's loaded in, right? That's just a gap between those. Man, I really need to, to find a uh, amethyst geode and make my spyglass because... That looks so cool. It's cool that it's by my house, too. Mm, okay, just a little bit more wood, and we'll get back to work on the house. Still, will it be enough? Uh, probably not. <laughs> the logs are what are killing me, as always. Of course, I built, I, you know, it's the beginning of the game, but I find a, a pretty expensive uh, resource. Well, it's not expensive, but time-consuming resource to build everything out of and um i'm too stubborn to change it now but oh oh well oh well it doesn't matter deep down inside it's just getting me alive i know i didn't really do uh oh my gosh they're back again you've got to be kidding me guys I don't want to buy real estate. I don't... And don't try to tell me this is real estate from your market. Get out of here. Oh, 
We've been noticed. It's too late. Let's uh, just waste our arrows on them. I like after you hit them, that's when they actually start to... I'll be with you in a second. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't think I was going to kill him. I didn't know the arrow did that much damage. Alright, well, I've been exiled from my, my own house. Oh, there you are. I thought you went inside my little cave. Did I get a crossbow? No. Worthless. Uh, we might end up doing a raid, like, super early on, because I, I figure, like, yeah, I could go drink milk right now, but, you know, I'm not a wuss. I'm not afraid of no challenge. I just don't want to get my butt handed to me by an evoker riding a uh, ravager into battle. Actually, I think that can only happen in a hard mode. It's a pretty uh, rough combination there, though. Like, the evoker's doing magic, and... He's speeding at you really fast with uh, a Ravager. Also, Ravager is the coolest name ever. Hence why I have personally written a story with Ravager in the title. Mm. No, but when I was uh, in middle school, I actually had made this, like, comic. I think every kid has made, like, a comic in the past or something. I had this super, super, like, edgy, ironically, well, it, it, I was pretty inspired by, like, the Ninja Turtles, um, like, the Mirage Ninja Turtles, the OG, like, cursing and, um, butchering people, and just super brutal, yeah, I was inspired by that, so I made this, like, super edgy comic, and, uh, yeah, but I came up with the, the Ravager, you know, I'm not saying the full title because I don't want people, like, commenting at me saying, Oh, when can we expect to read this? Well, um, you aren't. But, um, uh, yeah, the Ravager name actually came before, um, the, the Village and Pillage update, but it is kind of cool that, you know, there, there's similarities there. Sharing names, I guess. Mo Yang totally stole it from me. I'm just saying that's uh, what I'm getting at. <laughs> they uh, they got a hold of a copy of the story. And, yeah. I've actually continued to work on that story recently. I just kind of, like, uh, just had a passion. I wanted to, to take what I wrote when I was so much younger and actually fix everything up and make it a coherent story instead of just like action 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 and you know I've really enjoyed that that's um something I did a couple nights ago to relax was just write and improve and give depth to the characters by no means am I a writer or skilled to be a professional writer but I seriously thought it was relaxing, and it is cool to, like, look at something you write, cringe a little bit, and then, uh, fix it up. So, that's, uh, exactly what I did. And, I can't complain. I enjoyed it. Okay. Here's that. Oh, uh, we're so close to being done. I'd like to use the bathroom at some point, you know? That would, uh, be pretty cool. But if I go now, then I'll lose all my creativity. And if I lose my creativity, I can't finish my house. And, oh my gosh. I'm joking. I could pause the recording, but... We're not in a dire situation right now, so... Um, false alarm. <laughs> what even was that conversation? <laughs> Like, uh, your guys' lives were in imminent danger if I didn't pause right now and go blow up the bathroom. <laughs> Here we go. This music band, the Minecraft soundtrack, is gorgeous. I feel really hot right now, though. I am wearing, like, a, a I guess you could call it a knitted long sleeve shirt. Um, but, you know, feeling all fancy. But... 
It's really hot. I think my mom actually cranked up the heat though, because uh, she was complaining that it was cold in here. But uh, yeah, I, it's uh, February, and usually it is, you know, without a doubt, a cold month for for my area, for my state. We experience all the seasons, but uh, we've had an <laughs> extremely warm February. Like we've had some 60 and 70 degree days where we can go to the park and just uh, relax. But um, yeah, it's been like flip flopping back and forth between hot, cold, hot, cold. And uh, yeah, everybody will turn their AC on or whatever. And then, oh my gosh, the next day, get the heat back on. We're just about done. I'm not gonna egg this episode on for longer than it has to be just because uh, I just recorded the other one and this one is already uh, you know 31 minutes so i thought it was going to be shorter than that i thought we were looking at a 20 minute episode but no uh we actually hit the full length that i go for is you know 20 to 30 minutes uh at least so i'm i'm happy with that uh it doesn't bother me okay guess what i'm about to do right before we we wrap this episode up by finishing the frame that's right that's right. That is right. I'm doing it. If I have enough, if I don't have enough, I'm not doing it. And then uh, people can get their pitchforks and uh, <laughs> come at me, I guess. Whew, I'm really sweating now. But... Oh, well. So close, guys. We're so close. So close that we might actually be able to... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go get some wood and finish this project, huh? Last bit of iron. I'm definitely not going to have the ceiling done within... You know, the time that I break this last egg, so I, I probably failed that challenge, but... Eh, it's not a big deal. Oh, here a bat. Oh, I think there's a cave under me, actually. A small one, but a cave nonetheless. Do, 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 do. I mean, these... Ooh, ooh, ooh I see you. <laughs> oh, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm sidetracking myself. <laughs> Let's go get some wood, he said. It'll be quick, he said. I'm not inherently hunting Enderman because, like I said, we'll get to the end whenever we get to the end. This is not a, a place. Did that spider really follow me that far? I think he did. There's no way he kept up with me. That had to be somebody who spawned in right there. But yeah, this isn't a playthrough where I gotta make progress like that, so... Uh, we'll get to the end whenever we get to the end. We just got another Ender Pearl, I think. Yeah, we did. This is... Oh. Uh, your beach is uh, kind of gone. It's under under new management. Mwahahaha. But, uh... Of course, there's gotta be a creeper right by my bed. I need to move my, my bed inside before long anyways. Man, why are they spawning in hordes tonight? We should be alright to sleep real quick. I mean, the creepers will still be there blowing me up while I chop trees, but... This forest is, is not staying, by the way. This is just temporary. I'm sure some of you knew that, but... Uh, I'll have some sort of wooded area, but not this close to my house. Um, definitely in the distance. On the outskirts of the base, maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize that we must have recently hit level 30. That is awesome. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, don't you think about it. Just kill the creeper. Ah! That was perfect. Stall.
Uh, if you haven't been keeping up with the lore since it got a little hectic there, uh, we were chopping trees. <laughs> and in a moment, we'll be finishing our house. It would be cool to, to collect all the music discs on this world since I only like vaguely showed them off in the playthrough. 1.14.4 will be coming out soon, by the way. Uh, it just went into pre-release today, I believe. So, um, I don't think there's anything significant uh, coming to it. Oh, there's that stupid bat. But, um, oh, I got him. I got him again. Ah, perfect. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything big that's coming to the update. It's just kind of like a minor thing, but... I don't think there's anything in that update that means that we need to continue the Minecraft playthrough yet, so uh, I'm still going to be waiting for 1.20 to drop before there will be more videos for that, so that is uh, just a little heads up from me, but it will return and it will still be no commentary like our hour and hour long videos um <laughs> but yeah uh it will be coming back uh sooner than later because i you know i really don't think i left any stones unturned when i did that series so uh when 1.20 comes out uh i will play through all those probably not like mega long videos though just so, well, I don't know. I think people would rather actually just enjoy a really long video of me doing everything the game has to to offer in that update, but meh. <clears throat> but, yeah, that was sort of just like a, a rambly update thing of me just kind of saying it's going to happen, but yeah, it's, it's going to be of course that's why we have a ladder it'll be back before you know it at least uh, then my my house upgrades that I made before the final video will, will actually be justified besides you know I originally made the, the enchantment room add-on and the um, brewing room add-on just uh, to make the final episode look more um, pronounced or not pronounced um, accomplished so that it showed that we progressed with the house got an upgrade and yeah, we went from a little box to three little boxes, so that was the idea behind that. And with that said, we just finished all the walls. All we got to do is put the floor in, and yeah, when that's done, we're ready to to boogie on down to the, the next level. But I will use this last little bit of wood real quick to kind of... I guess try to get started on the floor hopefully I, I can make the floor look a little bit cooler later but for now we're just gonna use the blocks that we have to kind of seal things up and yeah and we still got an hour left <laughs> I'm pretty sure it used to like exit out and you had no idea how much time you had left, but it, it's cool that you can see it. I swear that's how it used to be at least. Oh, that was bound to happen. But the next episode it will probably, um, I'm not sure. I don't think we'll be going like, like balls to the walls per se, trying to get the basement done. Or sorry, the downstairs area. But I'm sure we'll definitely get started on it. But I, again, I really don't think 
I'm just going to go down there and be like, all right, let's uh, build all these walls. Let's uh, dig out the floor real quick. No, I think we'll just uh, take it slow from there on out. You know, unless I decide to do the roof first. Which I might, but... I don't know. It's not really important right now. All right. Well, that's the materials I got, and this is the thing I came up with. And uh, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta put the oak up to that point. I gotta remember to do that. But if you ask me, this is uh definitely a a big start. <laughs> We, we got we got walls <laughs> so um yeah i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here uh i hope you enjoyed this video and um yeah i hope you're just glad like i am that we got the house done but anywho uh i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one